said that you've never seen such a dichotomy between market performance and market sentiment. What do you mean by that? What I mean is if, if you go and read the newspapers today or just talk to a lay investor, they're quickly going to talk about the U.S. fiscal cliff, the situation in Europe, and whether we're going to have a hard landing in China. So a lot of the risks are known. And just we, confidence and sentiment are really poor right now. Yet if you look at the backdrop of performance for 2012, actually performance wasn't all that bad. So you look at it and go, we've got horrible sentiment, horrible discussion of topics, horrible headlines, and yet markets were up almost across the board in the course of this year. You think markets will continue to go up in 2013, and you have, in fact, three reasons to invest. One of them is valuation. Take me through some of your valuation measurements and tell me what investors are missing out on if they're not invested in equities. Well, typically with poor sentiment will come attractive valuations, and indeed that's what we see right now. First of all, the market's trading approximately 13 times next year's earnings. In the past, that's been a very attractive entry point for, for equity investors. If you look on a five-year time period, every time that we've traded at 13 times or below, over five years, actually, investors have, have returned a profit on their investment. And if you regressed it, actually, the expected return from the regression analysis would be about 13%. That feels a little high to me, but I think even if you thought of markets being in the high single digits, low double digits, that's a very lucrative return, especially given where fixed income is. And if you could make some comparisons between sure. fixed income performance and expected equity performance in 2013. Sure. I, I think if you look, equities are more attractive than fixed income in here. Um, as an example, the yield for the S&P 500 dividend yield is actually above that for the 10-year Treasury. So I think if we're comparing equity markets to Treasury markets, equity markets look very attractive. I, I would say, however, there are parts of fixed income we do like, but I think when you look in general, people are very fearful. They want to have security in their investments. That's why they're investing in fixed income. And I just remember the old adage, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. And I think right now you're paid to take risk. And I think the markets in the equity, at least on the equity side, really demonstrate that. 